So for this first DIY you'll need glitter, a little vase thingy, tape and glue, clear glue. So you'll get your tape and you'll just put it however you'd like on your vase or glass or whatever that you'd like to do this on. And you just put it basically wherever you do not want glitter and it's just a mark so you know where, it, like just so it doesn't get there. So it's clean and neat. For the glue, make sure it's it dries clear or else you'll regret it because it'll just be gross and messy. Make sure you put a decent layer on, not not too thin but also not too thick that you'll still see it afterwards, like big blob. So just make it. And then you'll just get your glitter and put it on and you do this to the whole thing. But when you're finished, then obviously you have to clean up and everything, which is my least favourite part, but it's worth it. You just find the end of the tape and then you take it off. And as you can see, it's a pretty neat cut line thing. Now you can put a candle in it or anything you want. And it looks really good with a candle because the flames just make it pop. Next one you need seven pegs and about seven or more or less tape or you can use sharpies or something to decorate then you'll just get your tape or whatever and put it on your peg but as you can see it will not work if you just stick it there so you'll have to put it on and like tuck it under much cuter than just plain brown ones. And then you just take pictures of outfits that you would like to wear and it's appropriate for school or, well, yeah, I, just, I wear a uniform so I don't have to worry about this, but on weekends or anything. So you get your paper and you write days on it or something. You can write every single day or you can just write Sunday and Saturday or just Monday through Friday or anything. It could be, you could write a certain event. And then put them on the peg. So as you can see I have mine between two bookshelves and just put the days on with the outfits that you'd wear on that day just so you can't, don't waste time in the morning figuring it out and we've all been there, well at least girls. And there you go, it's much organised and if you do not want to do this, like you have a uniform so there's really no use. Then just put up pictures of places that you want to go, or places that you want to see, or something that you want to do, or a quote that inspires you to be your best, or just anything. You'll need hot glue gun, string, a vase, and scissors. And remember that hot glue gun will be hot. So you just draw letters and a word on your vase jar thing 
and make sure it's 3D of course and then you just paint it or with whatever colour you like. What I did with the top is I wrapped string around it, yellow string. Uh, and if your letters come off or you want to take them off because they're annoying you or something, you can take them off and they look really good on and they also look really good off. Because as you can see, you can see through the jar so you can kind of see what's inside. So you can put flowers in it. If you have water in it, you can see like little waves and it'll be cool. The jelly in it. Or you can do the old fashioned candle and make it light up and as you can see, you can see right through the V into the fire and with the leftover letters, you can put them on anything else if you don't want to glue them, they might still be a bit sticky but if you do want to put it on something more permanently, you can just glue it on. This next one is just like, like just decorating something to make it a lot more cuter and to match your room. And I just put a pop of colour on a plain pink book. And also it's kind of dirty. Uh, so I wanted to hide that with tape. <laughs> and you can label it and you can put some studs on it. And you can just fold down the little pointy bits and just glue it on or you can just stab it in there and you can also decorate the inside so you feel good when you open it just like ooh color once again I'm gonna put studs in it just so it doesn't look too plain and you just push them in really really hard with like something and click here to see my last video